Hello everyone, Deadeye here, and uh, we're back with another quick play. Today we are quick playing Yono and the Celestial Elephants. Now, first, for those who don't know, quick play is a video game's first impression slash demonstration series I do here on this channel, where I play a video game I've never played before and give you some little thoughts along the way. And Yono and the Celestial Elephants is a adventure like a uh, puzzly little game with an isometric view and there's something interesting i want to point out about that let's take a look in the options menu here um the forward vector offset setting this is an on-screen direction the elephant will move if you press up now this is always kind of a thing with 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 isometric you know grid ish based games i don't think i've ever seen this option setting in a game like this before. Perhaps it's happened and I've never and I just haven't played that game or seen that option, but I think that's wonderful. All right, uh, not a whole lot of settings here. Uh, let's go back. Let's start a game. Select a save file. There's the only one. Let's start a new game. Down for some celestial elephants. It's the Elephant Constellation. Hi, I'm Sundara. I saw you fall from the sky. What kind of thing are you? Eat, talk, interact. Well met, Sundara. My name is Yono. I am an elephant. I'm a human. Nice to meet you. I'm on the lookout for an adventure, which is why I'm out here in the wilderness. Then I saw this big, shiny star fall from the sky, and I figured that could be a good place to look. That's how I found you so quick. Now that's what I'm here for, too. I am ready for an adventure. There's a small village just ahead. It's called Windhill. Uh, that's where I was when I saw the star. Come on, I'll take you. Follow me. Okay. Let's see. It's W A S A D. Oh, that's a pretty cute elephant. You got a little bit of momentum to your to your movement, which makes sense because you're an elephant. And you got a space for a uh, head bash. Uh, uh, the space button that is. Okay, Oma's Peninsula. Hmm. Uh, control to use your trunk. Ah. Eat or direct. And target lock. No, it's a turtle. No, I don't want to hurt the turtle. No. They wanted me to learn how to... They want to learn me... They want to learn me how to turtle. Uh, control. Ah. Oh, he's fine. Alright, this game's a 10 out of 10 for me for turtle inclusion. Alright. Oh, he turned into a rock, basically. Sorry about that, turtle friend. Um, These big boulders are blocking the path. I just jumped over them before. But maybe you will want to find another solution. No offense. I wager even rocks like these are no match for the mighty skull of yours. See you around the road. Try and keep up. Just bounce on out of there. Bang! Pop! Give me some stone coins. Thank you. Wow, you really polarize those boulders. How strong are you? I bet you could push this thing. I could put. I, I bet you could push this big, heavy box around like it was nothing. Just keep walking right into it for a while until it starts moving. Really put your back into it, you know. Personally, I can't even budge it. Well, I'll run ahead. Don't dawdle. <laughs> Boing, on out of there. All right. Supposed to push it down on this little lower platform? I think so. Go, Bob. Look at all these dandelions. Don't you just want to blow them all out? Kaploofy! And I mean your nose is huge. Just imagine what a mighty gust you can whip up with that thing. Anyway, we're not far from Windhill now, just a bit more. I'll meet you again when we get there. So long! Okay. Wait, can I just walk off? I can just walk off into the water. Don't do that. 
Oh, there was money hidden in those plants. Exploit nature's resources to gain money. I like what this game is teaching me. All right. Let's go, let's go. Got a little windmill thing here. Plants are impervious to headbutts. That's uh, true in my experience as well. There we go. Land on there. No instruction. Figure it out yourself. Oh, it goes automatically. Don't need to blow it again. All right, cool. This music track is kind of cute. Push that down there, but before we do that, let's take a look around. We got a platform for falling down upon, I guess. Huh. Wait. Push it this way. Oh, yes. Alright, this is a really nice little colorful world. Let's get on here. Control. Control. Does it matter? Okay, it's moving that one. Come back. Elevator. <gasps> Chest. Let's headbutt it. Oh no, E worked. You found a health token. Collect four of these and take them to your nearest health token exchange service to trade them for an extra heart ticket. Understandable. Okay, so it only moves for a limited time. Good to know. You know what I'm going to do? Forward vector offset that way. Let's see how my brain works with that. Hello. Oh, it's already kind of awkward. <laughs> Yay, you made it all the way. I knew you would. Wind Hill is right here. It's just a small village. Nowhere near the size of Nightingale City, where I'm from. It's a cute place, though, and it's quiet. Peaceful and remote. Just a thing, if you find that you need to disappear for a little while. I'll make my way back to Nightingale City, eventually. But for now, I'm loafing around these parts of the world. Why did you need to disappear, Sundara? By the way, don't be shy to go and talk to the people. That's really the best way to learn more about what's going on around here. Don't hesitate to talk to the same person several times either. I find that most people just love the sound of their own voices. Tell me about them. And almost everyone has many interesting things to say if you just prod them a little. I myself have been... Bothering every stranger I meet all the way from Nightingale City. Okay. Because you're not, like, snapped to a grid, it's a little weird, but... Eh, I think I can manage. Can I read signs? I can read signs. This way to Windhill. Small village with a big wind obsession. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Wind Hill. Okay, this game is cute and colorful. Music's nice. Graphics are pretty nice. I do wish I could zoom out a little bit, but it doesn't seem like a thing. Alright, page down, page up, no secret controls for that. Is there a controls options? Oh, there is a controls option. No. There's a controller on there, though. And if there's a controller on there, let's give it a whirl. Controller on! Steam controller, let's see how you do. Oh, you can move. Wait, can I do that with the mouse? Maybe, I don't know. I can move around. Okay, this works pretty good. Uh, okay, that's... Wait. Okay, so I guess the uh, forward offset don't matter no more. So that's lock on. What is my... What is my... There it is. It's B. <gasps> Good day. Oh, hello there, little one. You startled me. Pray tell, what exactly are you? Some sort of animal? Terribly sorry to ask. If it is rude, I mean, it's just... You may very well be the first four-legged creature I've ever talked with. It's quite alright, ma'am. I am an elephant. An elephant, you say? How curious. I have never heard of elephants before. I have come here to help people and do my best to bring joy to the world. Well, that sounds positively splendid. Welcome to Windhill, little elephant. Our village is not big, but it's quite charming. Wouldn't you say? I think you can make many new friends here if you just take a look around. You know what she said to talk to everyone multiple times? I'm gonna go into train building. Fast travel, I'm guessing. Hey, they got like a space helmet. Whoops. <gasps> Did you know that the Makani built a whole network of subterranean railways all over the kingdom? One day, I'm going to ride a train all the way to Nightingale City, but I'm too small to, to ride that far. Can the railroads take you anywhere? Yes, all the major cities and lots of other places as well. You'll have to visit the cities first, by yourself, before you can take a train there. That is why I'm not allowed to ride, yet. In the meantime, I wear my trusty adventure helmet. Can I get a trusty adventure helmet? Ah! Uh-huh. Cool. 
Give me that triangle money. Okay. Ooh, almost fell there. Don't know if a uh, right bumper does anything since mine is broken. Oops, that's A. What is B? Did I say it was B before? That just takes you down there. I don't know what that is. Oh, hello. Help me! My scientific experiments seem to have attracted a whole lot of snokes. They have invaded my cellar, and I can't go down there anymore. Maybe I can help you clear them out. Of course, you could. They are nasty little creatures, but they are not very dangerous if one is careful. Find any treasure down there in the cellar, you can keep it as a reward for helping me with my snoke problem. Yeah, a lot of people have problems with snoke nowadays. Let's go in here. Please tell me it's a snake. Ah, yeah, it is a snake. Ah. Oh, it's B. It's B. Headbutt. Bam. Bop. Poof. Go away, snakes. Give me some heart pieces. Thank you very much. I can't break that. Uh, another health token. Cool. Maybe have a little bit of a bigger hitbox on the... Uh, the old, uh, pinwheels. Uh, I don't want to spend time talking to everyone, though it's kind of adorable. Snokes are a member of the Veripidae family. But that's okay, but they are not venomous to humans. They are, however, known to be very aggressive, even towards creatures much larger than themselves. Only single snoke is... One single snoke is easy to deal with, but they often group together. In larger numbers, this can take them quite dangerous. It's called a pit. It's an educational game. I mean, clearly it's aimed for a younger audience than me, as in, I mean, you know, mid 30s <laughs> but I like it <gasps> can, I, can I do that I can't oh my god I got a chicken friend hello Wally what are you doing in this game it's mercurium good day sir my heart you a strange creature you don't mind me asking sir what exactly are you I'm an elephant my name is Yano and I'm a pretty strange one and you're a pretty strange one yourself oh not at all I am a mechani I come from the robotic city-state of Freehaven if you are wondering what I am doing down here in Windmill, sir, the answer is that I'm on vacation. You know what? You do that. Um, where does this take me? Takes me up. Can I get another chicken? Oh! Oh! No one saw that, right? No witnesses. Oh, he just... Okay, they pop back here. Okay, that's adorable. Good day, I'm traveling marble merchant. I sell marbles. That's very nice. How's business going? Not good at all! <laughs> I put down my merchandise for sure well, and now I can't. For the life of me, remember where I put it. Have you lost your marbles? Yes, I have. I can't find them anywhere. I'll help you look. You will? Yes, I'm an elephant. I'm here to bring peace and harmony. And, uh, to anyone, uh, to any help, and to help anyone indeed. I'll find your marbles for you. Thank you very much. Oh. So Dara is out here. Anyone see any marbles? Marbles? There's some marbles. Why is this uh, bath so so glowy? I don't know. Come here. Can I fall? I can fall, no problem. Okay, cool. Sir, I have returned your marbles. Ooh. Now I can go right back to business. How uh, will I ever? Not necessarily. I'm happy to help. You deserve a reward. I'll give you 30 hundred coins. What about that? Key? Keep your money. I'm an elephant. What? I don't even have any pockets. Really, elephants are truly magical. It's nice to have one to walk the earth again. It's been ages since the last time there was an elephant. This person knows about elephants. The other person didn't. You know what I will do? I will travel to Nine Gale City and donate the coins to the monks at the temple instead. That sounds like a good idea. Thanks again, Mr. Elephant, for all your help. For all you help. Uh, I am so happy you are here. Uh, just wait until the people in Capital City hears about your arrival. I'm gonna walk in here. It's a music salesman. It's Mithranda. Welcome to the Windhill Barber Shop. Can I do for you something cheer and lifeful, or are you looking for something that brings the mystery to you? Oh! Oh, we got skins! Okay, well now this game got much better. I could be a watermelon! Bluffy class. Cosmic L! Well, this is the one you need, right? Chess Master. Can't get any of these yet. Yellow Fat. Oh, it's a pod, the last nomad. I. Okay. Great. Okay. Is it weird that I'm really liking this game? Like, a lot. <laughs> I like cheerful, charming games. You know, I spend a lot of time shooting people. In other video games. Sometimes it's nice to just be an elephant and do little puzzles. 
Usually late at night when I'm tired, but I can't sleep is when I play a game like this. Oh hi there, Yono! Look at these sleeping. Uh, look at this sleeping boy I found. Can we keep him? No. Judging from his clothes and shaved head, I'd wager he's a monk from the temple in the city. Though he can hardly be more than a novice. And that makes me wonder what he's doing all the way out here. Or perhaps what he should be doing instead of dozing off. Wouldn't it be hilarious to wake him up in a really startling fashion? Maybe, maybe I should yell really loudly in ears. No wait, let's splash a bucket of water in his face. That would certainly be all that. Oh, excuse me. Oh, do you think he'll be upset? Look at it this way. He is most likely here in Windfall, excuse me, Wind Hill for a reason. Some pilgrimage or mission or something. If that's the case, he probably shouldn't be sleeping like this in the first place. In fact, I bet he'll be thankful for if you wake him up. Alright. Okay. Okay. Ah, can drink up some water. Oh, I'm so full of water, I can't move very fast anymore. I bet I can water the crops. Wake up! Oh, that worked. Okay. What's going on? I'm awake. I'm awake. Hello there, sleepyhead. My name is Sundar. This is my friend Yano. He's an elephant. Uh, wait. Did you say elephant? Ivory above. You really are an elephant. You have the trunk and the ears and the everything. I can't believe my eyes. Believe it, Buster. He looks just like that big statue in the town square. And it's true. All of it. That means these are blessed times indeed. Glad my presence means so much to you. I wouldn't exactly say... It means everything. Most people nowadays regard elephants as creatures of myth, if they know of you at all. There have been over a thousand years since this world was lost, or excuse me, last visited by an elephant, and the memories from those times have transformed to fancy legends and fairy tales. The temple in Nightingale City is trying to keep the old traditions alive, but we are only a handful of monks nowadays, and desperate enough to initiate just about anyone, it seems. Haha! <laughs> Sundar, that wasn't a nice thing to say. It's true, though. Uh, I was sent here to Windmill on a mission. But what mission? Uh, never really specified. I suspect they just wanted me out of the temple for a while. After the incident with the tra tapestry and the soup, what did you do? And the cat? And the ancient vase. Oh man, I wish I could have seen that. But I'm glad I'm here now. And get to see Yana the Elephant with my own eyes. I must guide you back to Nightingale City. How surprised the other monks will be when I, the Lost Hope, turn back together. The next elephant. I am from Nightingale as well, and that's where the real action is. Now that Yano is here, we should totally spread the good news to all the people of the kingdom. Okie dokie. We'll head north from here, through the Hedgehog Forest. Come on, let's go already. But that place is very fast. Tch! Alright. Okay, uh, controller controls. Really nice. I'm gonna switch back to keyboard here. Come on, turn off. There it goes. You better watch out, Jono. There are a couple of rob goblins down the valley, and they seem to have blocked a path with a fire. Rob goblins? What are they? Predator and aggressive little scavengers. Because of their weapons and armor, they look a bit like people, but they're really not. Uh, they're just attracted to metals. With a... They're just attracted to metals and will carry around anything they can find, steal or plunder. They're just like what my mom says our lives would be without a structured society. Nasty, brutish, and short. Okay. Uh, rob goblins, huh? That's a good name for them. <laughs> Hedgehog. Come here. Oh, oh, they big and nasty, all right. One for you, and one for you! Aha! All right, let's see if uh, hedgehogs are the uh, answer to... Um... Uh, what is it? They are not the answer to fire. Okay, so this game's kind of cute. Kind of easy, probably. So far, anyways. Seems to be aimed towards the younger audience. Little bits of puzzles and stuff here. See, like, push this box to get that treasure. I can do that. It's gonna be another hard container. Oh no, it's a bunch of money. Nice. Oh, I can get me a skin. I exactly have 96. I think some of the cheapest skins were 96. I fell off. Give me a skin and come back. The only thing I think I would like is just be able to zoom out just a little bit. You know? I know they really want you to see this elephant, though. This is a lovely town, though. Where is that barbershop? Is that it over there? The windmill. Oh. Uh, 
can be a yellow fant, chess master, scarlet, green strips, festival. Spots, zigzag purple. I think we'll go with the green stripes, will be a. Uh... Oh, I have 90. Wait, I thought I had 96 coin. Can I not count? Did I lose some coins for dying? Nice. Oh, I can get me a skin. I exactly have 96. I think some of the cheapest skins were 96. I fell off. That was a waste. My bad for wasting y'all's time. Hey, how y'all doing? I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I think this probably would be good for kids. I'm not like a kid expert, so don't listen to my advice necessarily. <laughs> some of the words are kind of big. I don't know. But it seems like a safe little game. The Rob Goblins are dead. The Rob Goblins are gone. I wonder how long it is. Let me go look at what... How long to beat, we'll say. Okay, how long to beat says this is about five hours. Oops. Do I need this? I'll take some water just in case. I like how you actually, like, kind of puff up. Um, oh yeah, I need to put out the water with this. Um, so, not too long. Goodbye, water. Yes. Um... I don't know what else to say. I think you you would probably know if this is a game you would play or not. Like I mentioned earlier, like, late at night, I'm tired and I don't play always the lots of hard action games anymore. <laughs> There's a lot of them, holy moly. Take this, Snokes. Ow, you bit me. Ooh, I got a key. Give me. Ah, you can bounce things off. Uh, just E it. I did just E it. Keyboard controls are fine. Graphics are fine. Sound effects are acceptable. Just a cute little game. I don't like, I think I said it in another video, like, uh, about a game similar to this. It's like, it's a nice time waster. I'm like, you know, that's kind of mean. All games are technically time wasters, really. This is not bad. And I can see myself finishing it. Can you see yourself finishing it? I don't know. Okay, maybe it's not 100% clear what are exits. These little pads. And sometimes I had a hard time aiming at things. Doors have a pretty large uh, hitboxes. I don't know. I don't want to criticize it too much. It's a game where you play a cute little elephant. Ooh, ooh can I blow you into the into the spikes? Get spiked! Oh, they don't get hurt from spikes. Okay, that should be changed. That should be changed. Probably not going to be at this point, but it should be changed. I don't know what I'm doing here. What am I doing over here? Oh, what? I guess I'm taking this block once the uh, pinwheel stops. Pinwheel. There it goes. Pinwheel. Pinwheel. Oh, 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 oh. Save that. <laughs> there we go. A little tight. Some of these areas. But that's fine. We're doing it. It'll be done. One, two, three. Bam. I'm the best. I'm at the best at being an elephant. If you didn't know. Spikes, go away. Spikes. Ugh. Alright. Anyways. Oh, I need water. Crap. Where the heck is the water? Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't think I got anything else really to say. I like it. All the game parts, the tech parts, work just fine. Don't get spiked, don't get spiked. Thank you. That's it for me today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, do please subscribe. Daily uploads on this channel. We do uh, other kinds of content, mostly. Oh, my key's over there now. Okay. That's it. <laughs>
Oops, did not mean to step out. Please, please progress. Still be made. Oh, came back at me. Okay, anyways. That's it. I think you like this game. Think about picking it up. Uh, if you like this video, think about subscribing. I do daily uploads on this channel. Uh, LP content every day, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, but uh, I do quick plays and other kinds of content as well, whenever I feel like it. Uh, this has been Yano the Elephant. Think about picking it up. And that's it for me. Hope you all enjoy. Hope to see you all soon. Bye bye now. Excuse me, Yano and the Celestial Elephants.